What's going on, everybody? This is James White with Frequent Reviews, bringing you SEO on TV, product reviews, gadget reviews, and more. Now, if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Today, I've got five kind of strange items that I ran across on Amazon. I figured I'd group them all into one video. So let's take a look in today's video. All right, here are the contestants, all five of them. And in no particular order, first up is the Plus Staple Free Stapler. This actually will staple up to 10 pieces of paper using no staples. It just, I don't know how it works. It does, but I'm gonna find out in a minute. But people seem to kind of like this one, so I figured this would be worth checking out. Next up, how about some, uh, well, that doesn't mean anything to you, does it? But in this box are six stainless steel drinking straws. That's right, people are getting rid of Straws these days, well, these might come in handy. This is the Red Shield phone stand. This is a phone stand that fits in your wallet. Let's we'll see if that actually lives up to the claims. This rather unassuming looking item is a, a clip that can supposedly work for several purposes, but I'm interested in this as grocery bag holders. Let's see if they actually work. And finally, the one that I'm really interested in. This is a stainless steel bar of soap. Seven bucks, 4.4 star rating, Amazon's choice. It supposedly removes odors. Is it even possible? Let's crack these open and see how they look. This is the plus staple free stapler. I read the instructions. They say that you're supposed to use it in the corner and they also mentioned that it's not gonna hold as strong as a regular stapler. So with that in mind, I've got kind of a stack of scrap paper that's was headed for the recycle. These are some footprints from my doormat comparison. So I'm gonna do two of these and just see how they look. But there's also a window in there that allows you to see inside to make sure that you're actually getting it lined up properly. Have not used this yet. And here we go. Oh. Oh wow, look at this. It did put a hole in the corner. It's actually a pretty big hole, but they are, they're attached. That's, uh, that's pretty cool, I think. I guess I wasn't expecting a hole that large, so you have to be careful about something like that, but let's do a few more pages. It can supposedly do up to 10 pages, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna test that out. That was two pages, let's try five. Oh yeah, that handled that no problem. How well does it hold these pages? Pretty well. I would certainly think for drafts that are gonna end up recycled anyways, this is a great idea. You don't have to worry about staplers when you, when you put them in the shredder. Actually, it's holding really good. I'm a little bit impressed by this. Let me try 10 pages. I'm not gonna go at an angle, I'm gonna go straight in instead of diagonal. Mix things up a little bit here. Here we go. Oh yeah, that doesn't wanna come out of here. I can see why 10 is a limit, not from puncturing it, but from getting it out. But it did do 10 pages. They just didn't wanna come out too well. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh oh, pages fell off. Ah. Right as I was finishing it, page fell out. That's not good. Let me show you a close of what it looks like looking downward as I'm stapling these. So your paper goes in there. And there it goes. Uh, maybe 10 pages is pushing the limit a little bit, but it's actually, that's a really a cool idea, especially I mean, I worked at an office, at, I worked at a mortgage company once and I had to take staples out all day long in some of those documents. This would have been a godsend back then. So I think this is actually pretty cool. What do you guys think? The only way to test these straws is in a real world test. So I'm gonna go to a couple different places and try six different size drinks. So my first stop, I'm going to Starbucks. I'm gonna get all four of their size drinks and then off to a gas station to get two more. Tall blueberry iced tea with lemonade, a grande espresso frappuccino, venti mango dragon fruit, and a Trenta black tea sweetened. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we got all these drinks at Starbucks. Let me try the first one out here. I've got, this is the largest drink at Starbucks. Will it work? Oh, look at this. It worked, perfect size. Perfect size. Now, does it transfer fluid into my mouth properly? Let's see. Well, I mean, I guess it works. <laughs> I don't know what else I'm supposed to say. It works. It's, oh, it's a bit weird. You have to be careful on your teeth. Other than being dangerous if you put it in your mouth too fast, I think it works pretty well. It's a little bit different though, drinking through a piece of metal, but I kind of like it. We got two more drinks to get though, so that's next. Oh, 
for the ultimate test, we got a big American drink and a gigantic American drink. We'll see if the steel straws work on those. All right, here we go. I've got all these drinks. I've got Tall, Grande, Venti, Trento, which I already started drinking on. From the gas station, I got a large and an extra large. Look at the size of these things. Let me see how these straws fit in all of them. I'm really curious if it fits in this one. But uh, let me see here. I put the... Wow, that's a... Uh... That's a lot of straw for that little drink, but why do they call the tall? Isn't tall kind of a bad name for the Starbucks smallest? I mean, isn't there small? I don't know. I'm sure I'm not the first person to ask that question. Here's the Grande. Venti, we got Trenta. Now for the two big ones, I'm gonna use the straight straws. Oh, it's working. And will it fit in here? It's the big question. Oh, it actually worked. Try each one of them. By the way, my son has a channel, and he and I just reviewed the new uh, tea flavors of Starbucks, so check that out, I'll link that below. I mean, it's a, it's a straw, it's real, that's all it is. Well, it's really kind of weird, weird mixing all these flavors together. Well, if you have a friend who's kind of environmentally conscious, this might be kind of a cool stocking stuff for Christmas time or a gift idea, but really I think that does work. So if they're, as they're phasing out straws these days, this might be an investment. These are only five bucks for these six plus the two cleaners. So I think that's actually a pretty good deal. And again, I'll link all these products in the description below. If you have a Yeti or an Ozark Trail or Rocky Mountain Tumbler, they do fit. So I think that the stainless steel straws are pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at this phone stand now that I've used it for a little bit. In fact, it's in my wallet here. Ugh. I've been sitting on this thing for a couple days now. Let's see how it's held up. Voila, here, here it is. It's not too much worse for wear. Let's try it on a few different phones here. How about my daughter's iPhone 6S with the cute little cat case on it? It feels kind of flimsy, but it hasn't fallen apart yet, so uh, we'll stick with it. All right, there we go. How's that look? I think so far, so good. Let's keep going. Now this is an iPhone 10S. It already has a case on it, but I'm gonna leave that on, see how it goes. I'm not even sure if that'll work, will it? This particular case is maybe not gonna work so well. Let me try the other side. Well, I guess I could probably just leave the case like this. It's holding it up pretty well, so it's, it's staying, look at this iPhone 7 Plus. And once again, my 10S Max. I oh, shouldn't do that. <laughs> I do think that it's, it's holding up pretty well. Now you're supposed to be able to wrap your headphones around these too. I think you'd use this notch here. These won't hold if you wrap it more than once. I probably wouldn't use this for that because then you can't put it in your wallet either. I don't know about the headphone thing. It sounds like it's a feature they just kind of threw on there to make it sound like it's more useful than it is, which they didn't have to do because the fact that you can get a phone stand in your wallet is enough, I think. I think this is pretty cool. Again, this would be another one. This is like Christmas in July or something because this is another one that'd be another good stocking stuffer Christmas time for your tech savvy friends. I guarantee you they don't have a phone stand that fits in their wallet and it was only five bucks. I think it's pretty cool. All right, let's do the rub away steel bar of soap. I'm gonna got a few things to try out and see if this actually removes odors. Now I was reading the comments on Amazon and some people said they were using soap beforehand. Some people said they just use cold water. Some people said it take a few seconds. Some people said it take a few minutes. So I'll find out if it actually removes odors or not. Let's get started with a nice smelly onion. That's first. Here we go. Oh, ooh. oh I can already smell it. And I, haven't, I haven't really done, done anything with it yet. Here we go. I'm gonna rub my hands on there. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh. oh. <coughs> I got one dirty hand and one clean hand. So when I'm done, I can actually see if there's a difference. Here we go. It, it's smooth, as I would expect. 
I can't imagine this working. It, the instructions just say to rub it like you would any bar of soap. Alright, what was that, about 30 seconds? Now for the big test, the big sniff test. I don't really smell it. I don't really smell the onion. That's uh, that's pretty good. Wow. No, no onion smell. That's pretty pretty impressive. I'm gonna try some more things, but the first test was a success. Rub away coming through in the clutch against the onions. All right. Well, that was surprisingly successful. Let's try some garlic now. Get it all over here. There you go. Ooh, I can feel the I can feel the garlic juice on here. Whoa! <laughs> I'm really rubbing this garlic in my right hand a lot. Look at this. I get garlic chunks even on my hand. Let's go to the sink and do it. I smell like garlic bread. All right, well. I have high hopes now that the onion did so well. There's no smell at all. These hands smell the same. It really has no smell. I wouldn't be doing this if I smelled garlic. garlic. I'm, I'm impressed. I, I gotta say, it's, a, it's surprisingly impressive. Wow. When my son was a little toddler, he used to walk around carrying a pickle all day long. So I'm gonna put a pickle in my hand, get that pickle juice all over there, and see how that does with the steel soap. Put my fingers there in the juice. I don't usually do that. What do you guys think about when someone puts their fingers in the pickle juice? I always had a problem with that. It's like, dude, I got your finger juice now on my pickles. So let me see, here we go. There we go, this. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> oh, it's like soaking wet with pickle juice. Oh, I washed off the water, still strong. My camera person almost gagged when I put my, the pickle all over my hands. There we go. Let's see. Oh, you know what? There's a slight pickle smell. All right, that was about a full minute of, of scrubbing with that steel bar of soap. Now it's gone. It's gone. Wow, that actually worked pretty well. Like I said, the pickles took a little longer than the other two, but it still worked. The next two tests are not food related. How about handling some pennies, some money? Because money always has that kind of Metal smell, but can metal rub metal smell off? Let's find out with a jar of coins. Gotta have some pennies. All right, let's see. Oh, that's a strong, that's like you worked at a bank all day long smell on your, on your hands. That might be the worst smell so far I've had, just that, that metal smell. Nothing at all. There's no smell whatsoever. Wow. I got one more test. I'm gonna see if the steel soap can actually get rid of steel smell. My friends at Weld Metals Online gave me this package to try out of carbon steel, because that'll leave a smell in your hands. I'm gonna handle that for a little bit and see if this steel can overpower this steel. A Little bit of a carbon steel for you on this nice day. Ooh, ah. All right. Oh man, <laughs> that's not a good smell either. It smells like steel. Oh yeah. Which steel will win this battle? Did you work? We'll find out. I think it worked. I don't smell anything. That's uh, an impressive showing by their steel rub away soap. I think it really handled everything I threw at it. So I got nothing to say except for that it shouldn't work, but it does. And it was only like seven bucks. So it really isn't that expensive. So I think this one is a surprising hit. I'd probably rather get dental work right now than spend the next hour grocery shopping. I'm not a fan of grocery shopping, but I gotta try these things out and see if they actually work for the grocery bags. So I'm going in there, I'm gonna load up on groceries and see how 
these actually work. All right, here we go. Let's we'll see if these grocery bag clips work. This is for all you guys out there that want to show your manliness and carry in as many grocery bags as possible, like me and my brother do. We'd always try to compete with each other to see who could carry the most. Well, let's see what I can carry with these. They have their nice foam handle, which is very fancy. And let's see how it goes. I'm going to put about five on each one of these. One, two, three. I'm doing five each, if I can. All right, rats. Okay, there's one set. Gotta get, get good at this here. Get, get, go, go quick. I'm gonna end up carrying all the bags at once. There we go. Do a little workout on the way there. Yeah. Something else I also thought about with these was kind of nice. So you gotta put your bags down. I gotta unlock the door. I don't have to fish for the uh, the bag handles again. That's kind of cool, huh? Ah. Boom! I just carried all the bags in one shot. These are actually pretty cool. And they have the comfortable handles. I'm a fan of the bag clips. I think they were uh, only seven bucks. Not too bad, really. I got the non bags out there and then wrap this video up. All right, so let's do a recap of everything I looked at here. I know it was a lot. We'll start off with the one that I used the least, which was the famous bag clip. Now, I only used it once, but it's one of those things where either it works or it doesn't. And in this case, it actually worked. I carried in 10 bags of groceries, didn't break my fingers in half doing it. I can see someone that lives upstairs or has to walk to the grocery store. This would be a great addition to your arsenal. It's a pretty cool invention, not very expensive. Worth checking out, I think, for sure. Next up is the staple free stapler another great idea I'm, I'm surprised this didn't exist longer maybe it has and i just never knew about it the pros would be that there's no staples so there's no refills either to worry about it's good if you're going to be shredding documents and also if you have drafts that you're not too worried about great use for those the cons would be that it only does 10 pages at a time and it does put a hole in the paper and it doesn't hold it quite as well as a metal stapler but overall this is actually a pretty cool invention next up it's the wallet phone holder. It seems a little bit flimsy, but it's held up. I've had it in my wallet for a few days now, and so far, so good. I'm gonna take this to Hawaii with me, and so I'll have a little bit longer vacation. I'll have it on the plane. If anything happens, check my uh, social media stories, and I'll have any updates if anything goes wrong there. But so far, so good. It's only five bucks, pretty moderately priced. I think it's something that a lot of people would find use for. Next up, we have the steel straws. Now, this is another thing that either it was going to work or it didn't, but it seemed like it fit in most size cups that I tried. It takes a little bit of getting used to, not much. Don't hit it in your teeth like I did. That's, uh, that's not pleasant. The only thing I'd worry about is people not cleaning them properly because you could get some kind of gunk inside of there. That would not be good. But as they're phasing out plastics and straws and things, having a few of these on hand might be a pretty good idea. And finally, probably my favorite of all of these, my beloved Rub Away steel soap it works shockingly well i did onion pickle garlic coins metal and there's no smell left over whatsoever in the comments on amazon people say that it works well for underarm motors i don't have that problem so i didn't test it out for that but if you have that problem you might want to check it out and i see bailey back there at seven bucks it certainly is something that a lot of people i think would find to be useful have you guys tried any of these products? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures, videos, and updates as I go. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews. So Billy and Anthony, which one of these products would you guys pick, huh? No, they're not saying. I wonder which one they would pick.